Measurement of distances. Errors in measurement of distances. First, tape not standard length. Imperfect alignment of tape. Tape not horizontal. Tape not stretched straight. Imperfections of observation. Variations in temperature. Variations in tension. And effect of sun. So these are the errors in measurement of distances. Mistakes in measurement of distances. Number one, adding or dropping a full tape length. Number two, adding a centimeter, usually in measuring the fractional part of tape length at the end of the line. Number three, reading numbers incorrectly. For example, 78 is read as 87. Number four, recording numbers incorrectly. For example, 50.7 meters, which is recorded as 57 meters. And reading wrong meter mark. Corrections applied for measurement of distances. Number one, temperature corrections. And the formula, C sub T, or correction temperature, is equal to K times T sub 2 minus T sub 1 and multiplied by L sub 1, where K is equal to 0.0000645 feet per degree in Fahrenheit. In terms of Celsius, K is equal to 0.0000116 meter per degree in Celsius. And for T sub 1, it is the temperature when the length of tape is L sub 1. And T sub 2 is temperature during measurement. And for pool corrections, C sub P is equal to P sub 2 minus P sub 1 multiplied by L sub 1 all over A times E, where P sub 2 is the actual pull during measurement. P sub 1 is the applied pull when the length of tape is L sub 1. A is the cross-sectional area of the tape, and E is the modulus of elasticity of tape. So this is the formula for pull corrections. Next, sag correction. With the formula, C sub S is equal to W squared L cubed all over 24 P squared, where W is the weight of tape in pounds per foot or kilogram per meter. L is the unsupported length of tape, and P is the actual pull or tension applied. Number four, slope correction, C sub S, wherein it is equal to H squared all over 2s and h is equal to s minus c sub s where h is the horizontal distance or corrected distance s is the inclined distance h is the difference in elevation at the end of the tape so this is the slope correction and last reduction to c level c sub sl is equal to b prime multiplied by negative h over r plus h squared over r squared b minus b prime is the correction where b prime is the corrected horizontal distance h is the altitude of observation and b is the horizontal distance at sea level example a 50 meter tape was standardized and was found to be 0.00425 meter too long than the standard length at an observed temperature of 58 degrees Celsius and a pool of 15 kilos. The same tape was used to measure a certain distance and was recorded to be 673.92 meters long and at an observed temperature of 68 degrees Celsius and a pool of 15 kilos. Determine the standard temperature and the true length of the line. Coefficient of linear expansion is 0.0000116 meter per degree Celsius. Solution. Based on temperature correction, and the formula for correction or temperature correction, C sub T is equal to K times T sub 2 minus T sub 1 and multiplied by 
L sub 1. So the given C sub T is equal to which is 0 0.0042 meter and K which is the coefficient of linear expansion and it is 0 0.0000116 and it is in meter per degree Celsius T sub 2 is equal to 58 degrees Celsius and L sub 1 is equal to 50 meters so we will get the standard temperature which is T sub 1 so T sub 1 is the unknown value and this is at A so at equation 1 C sub T is equal to 0 0.0042 is equal to K 0.0000116 and multiplied by T sub 2 which is 58 degrees Celsius minus the unknown which is T sub 1 and multiplied by L sub 1 which is 50 meter so simplify this is 0.0042 is equal to 0.0000116 times 58 times 50 is equivalent to 0.03364 and minus 0.0000116 multiplied by T1 and times 50 and it is equal to negative 0.00058 T1 therefore T sub 1 is equal to 50.76 degrees Celsius and this is the standard temperature so we have now the value for T sub 1 which is 50.76 degrees Celsius next and we will find now the true length so uh, P C T is equal to K times T sub 2 minus T sub 1 times L sub 1 which is the formula for temperature correction and this is based on the new temperature which is 68 degrees Celsius with the same pool of 15 kilos K is equal to 0.0000116 and multiplied by T sub 2 which is the new value for temperature which is 68 degrees Celsius and minus the standard temperature which is T sub 1 and we have 50.76 degrees Celsius and multiplied by the length of the tape which is 50 meters and we can have now the value for C sub T which is equal to 0.01 meter and the tape is too long because it is positive For the total correction, the recorded length which is 673.92 meter and multiplied by the temperature correction which is 0 0.01 meter and divided divide by the standard size or length of the tape which is 50 meter. And the total correction it is equal to 0.1348 meter and we will now have the corrected horizontal distance corrected horizontal distance which is the recorded length 673.92 meter plus the total correction which is 0.1348 so 0.1348 meter so the corrected horizontal distance it is equal to 674.055 meter so this is the actual 
horizontal distance or the corrected horizontal distance which is 674.055 meter and this is the answer example a civil engineer used a 30 meter tape in measuring an inclined distance the measured length on the slope was recorded to be 459.2 meters long the difference in elevation between the initial point and the end point was found to be 1.25 meters the 30 meter tape is of standard length at a temperature of 10 degrees celsius and a pull of 50 newton during measurement the temperature reading was 15 degrees celsius and the tape was supported at both ends with an applied pull of 75 newton the cross-sectional area of the tape is 6.5 millimeter squared and the modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal the tape has a mass of 0 0.075 kilogram per meter and determine the true horizontal distance where k is equal to 0 0.000116 meter per degree celsius which is the coefficient of linear expansion so solution so given K is equal to 0.000116 and this is in meter per degree Celsius L sub 1 which is the standard length 30 meters so this is 30 meters X T sub 1 is equal to 10 degree Celsius while T sub 2 is the during measurement the temperature is 15 degrees celsius p sub 1 is equal to 50 newton while p sub 2 during measurement the pull is 75 newton and also the area or the cross-sectional area of the tape is 6.50 millimeter squared and the modulus of elasticity which is 200 gigapascal and the weight or the mass weight which is equal to w or 0 0.075 and it is in kilogram per meter okay so first we will find the temperature correction so temperature correction and the formula for temperature correction is c sub t and it is equal to k times t sub 2 minus t sub 1 and multiplied by l sub 1 where k is equal to 0 0.000116 and multiplied by t sub 2 which is 15 degrees celsius minus the temperature t sub 1 and it is t or 10 degrees celsius and multiplied by L sub 1 which is the standard length of the tape which is 30 meters and the temperature correction is equal to positive 0.00174 meter and this is C sub T and for the pull correction C P or C sub P is equal to P2 minus P1 open close parenthesis and multiplied by L sub 1 all over A E and P sub 2 or the pool of 75 Newton minus P sub 1 which is 50 Newton and multiplied P multiplied by the standard length which is 30 meters and we divide divide by the cross-sectional area which is 6.5 and the modulus of elasticity and it should be in terms of megapascal so this will be 200 times 10 to the power 3 or in megapascal so c sub p is equal to 
positive. So 75 minus 50 is positive. 25 times 30 all over 650, 6.50 and multiplied by 200 times 10 to the power 3 and the value is positive 0 0.0058 meter. So C sub T is 0 0.00174 meter and C sub P is 0 0.0058 meter. So these are all positive values. And next, and we have now the SAG correction. And designated as C sub S and the formula, it is W squared L cubed all over 24P squared. And we need to convert the mass or the weight of the tape, which is 0 0.075 in kilogram per meter and convert it in Newton. So W will be converted into Newton. 0 0.075 always multiplied by the gravity which is 9.81 and this is in terms of Newton. So 0 0.075 times 9.81 is equal to 0.73 575 and it is in newton per meter so the equation c sub s is equal to 0.73575 and squared multiplied by l which is 30 cube and divide divide by 24 multiplied by p which is 75 which is during measurement. So C sub S is equal to, or the sub correction, is equal to 0 0.10827 meter. And we have now the values for sub correction. So the total correction per tape length, so total correction per tape length So C is equal to C sub T plus C sub T and the saturation is always negative value. So negative C sub S. And the value for C sub T or the temperature correction is 0 0.00174 meter. 0 0.00174 meter plus C sub P which is positive 0 0.0058 meter. 0.0058 meter and and side correction which is negative 0.10827 and the total correction is equal to negative 0.10595 meter so we have now the total correction per tape length and the total correction based on the total length of the tape which is 30 meters so total correction four hundred fifty nine point two meter and we multiplied by the correction or the total correction per tape length that's negative point one zero five nine five and we divide divide by the total length of the tape which is 30 meters and the value is equal to negative 1.622 meters so that's the total correction based on the 30 meter tape length for the correct slope distance the recorded length is 459.2 and we subtract based on the total correction that's negative 1.622 457.578 meter and that's the correct slope distance and for correction for slope so correction For slope and the formula c sub s is equal to 
h squared all over 2s and the height which is the difference in elevation between the initial point and the end point was found to be 1.25 meters so that's h so this is 1.25 meters squared all over 2 and multiplied by the correct slope distance which is 457.578 meter so 457.578 and c sub s for slope correction the value is 0 0.002 and for the corrected horizontal distance The corrective slope distance, which is 457.578, and minus the slope correction, which is 0 0.002. So 0 0.002, and the correct horizontal distance is equal to 457.576 meter. And this is the final answer.